Hey, let's kick it off. Get this Sunday live stream started. Welcome back to the final Sunday live stream. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for all your support. Let's get the party started. Have some fun. Love it. So what are you guys up to today? Happy Sunday. Thanks for the little intro, having some fun. Oh, it's a bummer, rainy day there. We are freezing cold here in the Pacific Northwest. We were hitting under 32 degrees this morning. We're gonna be in the low 20s all week. Love it. Probably not gonna see any snow, but that's a bummer. We'll get our heavy jackets on. We're gonna have to kick off, you know, spread the wool out a little bit everybody's gonna get into that uh, hipster vibe got all sorts of people here today lots and lots of Zach's stuff crew members here Zach's daily carry crew in the house we got Marcos Gamma nuts for knives David Iverson David Iverson gold class crew member master moderator big red EDC and gold class crew member as well we got rusty knife lover a member of the gold crew we got Paper Tiger, Gold Class Crew Member. Javon's Knife Attic Live, Gold Class Crew Member. Thanks, for J Thanks Javon, for up and uh, re-upping up the other day. I saw that. Thank you so much, my friend. We got Jeffrey Dawson, Alicord Paracord, Bill Rivers. We got Demonic13, Demonoc. Nick Martino, member of the crews here as well. Steven Wallace, Big Cheese EDC. Kevin Campbell, Spider Knives EDC. Gold class crew member, rocking it. Thank you for being here. Let's see who else we got. We got Brian Jones. We got Michael R. Dan Brock, pretty fly for a knife guy. Ed Harrison, a member of the crew is here. Craig Wilkes, also a member of the crew is here. El Cap Attic, William Lenderman, Will B. and Rob Tenring, both Zach's stuff. Daily crew members, thanks for being here. Thank you for your support. So, what else do we got going today? We got Slim Tissues here, member of the crew. Thank you, thank you. Good to see Slim Tissue as well. Love it. Louis is here. Dang Ross is here, member of the crew. Thanks for being here. EDC Renzo in the house, gold class crew member. What's happening? What's up, Nelly? Happy Sunday, Nelly. Thank you for being here, listening in. Or maybe you're forced to listen in. That's how it goes. Freak Show, EDC in the house, Gold Class Crew Member. What's up, Freak Show? Paper Tigers here, Gold Class Crew Member as well. Yeah, HCR. And I was going to put 13 MOV, but I'm like, yeah, everybody gets the HCR idea. Yeah, I just want to get an idea. There's a, a couple things I'm going to do with the video coming up. And a couple of those steals uh, have something to do with it. So wanted to kind of get your opinions on which ones you want to see, but Knife Eclectic's here, Gold Class Crew member, thanks for being here, Bla Budget Blade Review, what's this about, Final Live, Acid Test Kids, member of the crew is here, we will talk about that in just a minute or so, we're going to talk about the Final Live stream today. So, what does that mean for everyone? So, doing a little bit of, you know, analytics, channel, overall, my personal life, professional life, and YouTube life in the community here. And I was like, we need to do a different live stream day. What's up, Ron? What's up, I Love Knives? Welcome, thanks for being here. Yeah, what's up? DGA, Gold Class Crew Member, what's happening? So, we're going to go ahead 
and do a live stream on a new day, new time. That'll be coming up in the next two weeks. You guys will see that. Most likely, you're going to see a random live stream this next week. It's not clickbait because it's going to be the final Sunday live stream. And that's what I put on there. Is this the final Sunday live stream? Yes, it is. So unless there's something crazy wild going on, like, you know, breaking news, you know, where Benchmade all of a sudden reduces the price of the Narrows, then we will be live on a Sunday, right? Because we got to do some fun stuff. What's up, James? What's up, Ed Harrison, Craig Wilkes, member of the crew? Thanks for being here. But for me, that's the important stuff, you know? We want to be here, have fun. What's up, Copperlight Steve? How are you? Yeah, I appreciate you being here. And that's the other thing. We want to switch it up a little bit. You know, I've been Sundays at noon Pacific for a couple years now. So that's been pretty crazy. What's up, Nias Fast? Casey's here, Gold Class crew member. And yeah, that's the biggest thing is, you know, <laughs> that's the feeling you get when all of a sudden you see the price in the Narrows at 580. And I think Benchmade realized that really quick. What's up, EDC? Thanks for being here. Dave Willis as well. Don C. Yeah, so one of the things is, is, you know, I see overall, and lots of people have talked about it, overall prices of the shootout. Everything has gone up, and that's kind of like everybody raised their prices, you know, beginning of the year, end of last year for the new year. What's up, Nick? Martino, member of the crew? Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I also wanted to just kind of open it up for more people to be here, and that be, may be more restrictive for others, um, but we're going to try it out. We're going to give it a go. Uh, it's also going to open up my Sundays. You know, it's one of my days off on my weekend and um, I find myself spending a lot of time just in preparation, getting things ready, getting things shipped out, you know, and I could do that stuff on the weeknights and those kind of things. Um, and I want to be more, I guess, prepared, you know, and I appreciate that, DJ. Um, and so that's one of the things for me where it's like, I feel like, cause it's noon. So by, you know, 10 o'clock or so, I'm I'm, I'm with you guys. I'm watching, you know, Cole over on Tri-State EDC. And I'm like, you know, what are we doing over here? You know, we're, we're having fun. We're looking at the internet stuff. But for me, I'm trying to get things ready. I'm getting, you know, things lined up that we're going to talk about, getting some packages ready, you know, getting knives together, those kind of things. And it's like, I would rather, I guess maybe I'm just not a morning person anymore. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But overall... I know it conflicts with a lot of stuff in spring and summer for, you know, different people, different family events, school events, sporting events, those kind of things. So I was like, let's give it a try on a different day, different time. And you'll see that pop up. I'm not going to reveal it yet because I'm still working out a few things. Uh, you know, you know me, a little DSKFS, do something kind for someone. Um, I don't want to step on any toes or anything crazy like that. So working together with a couple channels just to make sure that things are cohesive and what which truly doesn't care. What's up, Tim S? How are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome. The O Father, as uh, he's otherwise known as. So for me, that's just one of those things where I'm like, what's up, Joe? How are you? We're going to give it a whirl. We're going to see how it goes. And, uh, you know, if, if a big, huge bunch of people are like, hey, we don't like it, then uh, we'll go with something else. Hey, Martial Law 123. Hashtag DSKFS. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall, for the super chat. That is awesome. We will put that into the live stream giveaway fund, which I want to do something kind of fun today. So we do have a fun giveaway coming up today for the last Sunday live stream. I think you guys will enjoy it. But we have a lot of cool stuff um, to look at today as well as go over a few other things that have been going on in the community and some things that got sent in. I also have something here from Big Red ADC, I think. So we're going to look at that up. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to, you know, share my time with you all and you share your kindness and support with me and that's awesome. You know, I think one of the things we found this year out of, you know, SHOT Show 2023 
was, you know, pricing. And uh, that's one of the things that's really hit everybody is, you know, what do you want to spend on these knives, right? And where can we go better with things? And I think some of the manufacturers are doing that. Um, you know, you see a collab from, oh, we have a gifted membership. Oh my gosh. Big Red EDC gifted five memberships. Michael R, Alicord, Paracord, Budget Blade Review. I love knives and pretty fly for a knife guy. Thank you, Big Red, so much for doing that. It is very kind of you. Welcome to all the rejoined members and new members to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. You got access to custom emojis there. Use those in your messages and here on the live stream. Let's give a little shout out to Big Red EDC. Big Red, put the link up to your channel. Please go subscribe to Big Red EDC if you don't. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I it, you know, and that's the thing, Steve, is... <laughs> and I don't know if you guys heard last week, and Steve, I, I know you weren't here last week, but one of the biggest things that came out of SHOT Show was day number two, you know, stop by Benchmade again. They were already doing surveys with their marketing team on the value, the cost, what would you pay, those kind of things for the Narrows on a little iPad questionnaire for people. And that was not there the first day. So it tells me that they're listening and they realize they missed the mark on it. That's what it tells me as a consumer. So I like that. Now we just need to see the follow through and that price adjusted. So Big Red EDC's link's right there. Go check him out. Watch some of his videos. You can check out his uh, SKL Saturday Knife Live from last night. It was pretty fun. What's up, Mo Betta Detta Deal Getta? <laughs> Mo Betta Deal Getta? That's pretty awesome. One Minute Knife Reviews, what's happening? Welcome, welcome. Mike Jernak, Gold Class Crew members here as well. Robert Douglas, welcome, welcome. Those of you just joining, today will be the final Sunday stream on Zach Stuff. So, we will go ahead and we will get to the action. And the action is first up. SHOT Show 2023 was a blast. Now, we had some awesome fun. We saw so many good people down there. Irwin, Kopecky, what's happening? Thanks for being here. Mark Ridgewell, what would I pay for the Narrows? I think right around the 400, 425 mark for full MSRP would be reasonable. Um, you can see that your dealers for like 380 to 385. I think that would be good. You know, you're looking at a titanium scaled knife. You're looking at M390. You're looking at a torsion axis style lock. Uh, no Omega Springs in it. So a little bit redesigned there. I would say for me, that would be kind of that high end, you know, something a little lower than the Anthem because the Anthem was a little high, but you also had a lot of milling time. One solid piece of titanium. That was pretty legit. I think I would say... That would stuff sharp enough. What's up, Pedro? What's happening? That's one of the things I would I would say that would be the high end for me. And I put that on the survey, and I think a lot of people did. You know, um, not sure how many. You know, you're getting generalized people there as well as knife people that were there for the. Uh, what do you want to call it? Um, for shot show. So you might you're not going to have your direct clientele. What's up, CK? Remember the gold class crew? What's happening? Thanks for being here. But Mike Jernak, what's up? Gold class crew member. Yeah, and that's the thing. What's up, Acid Test Kids? Crew members here, Robert Douglas, JR Miz, gold class crew member, what's up? And that's the thing for me is like, you know, you right there, you know, the shot show is the shooting, hunting, outdoor trade show. And that's one of the things where, you know, you're there for a certain reason, right? You're there for whether you're a dealer, it's not open to the public per se. Um, so you got media, those kind of things. So you're not going to have your knife people, your knife community, 100%. So you're going to have a wide variety of people there. What's up, Alcus? How are you? And I think that's a really good pool to pull. You know, you're going to ask people from all over, what do you think of this knife? What do you think it costs? You know, it's pretty narrow. That's another thing as well. It's named for the narrow. It's skinnier than the tagged out. You know, we're going to talk about the tagged out here in a minute. 
that's one of those things that people really, really need to look at the true factors of it. Now, you know, had you come out, you know, and I talked about this a little bit. I'm not sure if I shared it last week, but, you know, prices, bug out prices, those kind of things, Griptilian, those kind of things. You know, if you're going to raise it up $20 this year, you know, upgrade the blade steel. S45, they're doing on another model that they came out with this year. You know, throw some S45 on a bug out, you know, and charge us the extra $20 or something. I mean, people understand those kind of things, right? What's up, Byron Kennedy? Remember the crew? Mallory Designs in the house. Give a shout out to Dylan Mallory. What's up, buddy? Everybody say hi to Dylan as well as Byron. Thank you guys for being here. Dylan's got some awesome designs. It was great to see him at the show as well. Got to spend some time with him on Saturday as well after the show. Went out to the Red Rock Canyons. That's pretty cool. Would have been awesome to like hike around up there, but we didn't have a whole mess of time. But we had a few hours, so that was good. Um, and of course, you know, Dylan was like climbing all over rocks and everything. And I have a couple cool pictures of that. So maybe I'll post one today on the Instagram. But this is for Dylan. Little shit, <laughs> little shout out for Shot Show. All right, I know, right? Dylan's in the house. So good to see him. You guys haven't seen him? Check out some of his new stuff he's got coming out. I'm excited for that. Gotta love, gotta love the people that are there representing. Always at the shows. Always showing off their stuff. Always designing. Bobo Schnoggins, remember the crew is here. What's up, Bobo? Scott ends here as well. Gold class crew member. What's happening? Let's see here. Did I miss that? Yeah. So I'll be posting that up um, when and where I'm moving the show to. So I know there's a couple people asking about that. We are um, working with a couple different channels just to make sure we don't step on toes and those things. So they know also we don't show up and be like, Hey, how are you? I don't want to do that. You guys know me. I'm a nice guy. Um, this bench made right here, this is the Griptilian in G10 S30V. Got the little bench made factory exclusive laser mark on it, which is pretty awesome. I had that put on when I purchased it. But G10, kind of that FDE color. Of course, the sheep's foot design. Gotta love that one. Of course, the shootout. Got that little glass breaker delete option. Uh, I, I am glad to see that they went to the pommel. On a few models, a little patch from SHOT Show this year. They didn't give them out free. You had to buy them, of course. You know, they, they don't sell anything there except their own swag. But that's all good, which I don't get. Like, I, I heard, you know, because SHOT Show reached out to me, which was funny. They were trying to get in touch with Benchmade and some other people there. They were trying to go with, like, a new idea of selling some stuff this year. What's up, Todd Carr? Remember the crew? What's happening? What's happening? So I'm not sure why they would, did not go with that, but maybe they'll do that next year, sell some stuff. I mean, you got to pay taxes on it anyway, so just like, you know, buying their swag, but maybe they didn't want competition. I don't know. Yeah, the mint green color is kind of cool. You know, we did give them some feedback, and I will say, kind of like we talked about last last week, uh, John Diasis, great guy, you know, um, CEO of Benchmade, uh, less the son. Um, he took uh, probably about 20, 30 minutes, talk with myself, Justin and David, and, you know, we gave him some great feedback, you know, and we talked about a lot of things. And one of the things we talked about was color combos, schemes, those kind of things. And like, you know, doing a stormtrooper like white and black version of the shootout would have been a 10, you know, and I know they went with the, uh, the FDE blade and hardware, but you can always do a switch, you know, you'd have to buy two, but. Maybe somebody you know, will have a friend and they'll be like, I like this one and somebody else likes the other one and you can switch it out. But we may do that with mine. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how the knife funds go. You know, we're all planning for purchases and stuff. Uh, pl speaking of planning for purchases, before we get into it too much, don't forget now Blade Show West, if you guys saw my video with Arcane Designs, he showed off the Pratheon and... I got hands on with it and it is awesome, you guys. If you're not a fan of his normal designs, you know, maybe a little too angular, this kind of combines everything. 
He's got more of that drop point blade. He's got thumb studs. If you really like the front flipper, you know, over the top action, he's still got a little flipper on the back side of the spine for that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Napster, we're going to talk about that. Um, so don't forget, Praytheon orders are out. And, and I don't know, in my mind, for some reason, I thought it was going to be a um, pre-order, right? Well, he's got them in stock because I pre-ordered mine. I think they dropped on Friday. Yeah, Israel's awesome, man. Israel's awesome. And he literally, the shipping, I think I got my shipping notice Saturday morning. So, and they're coming from local. So I looked at that because I was like, oh, maybe they're shipping, like drop shipping or something. He's got them. So, you know, you can get into the G10 one with the inlay, um, S35 VN stone wash. I think it's 200, you know, plus like $6 shipping or something. So check that out if you're interested. I really like that one. Uh, the new Microtech is an Axis style lock. You know, with the patent expiring, everybody copied greatness. So everybody's got a deadlock or a rolling lock or a flipper lock or, you know, a, a grind lock or a chisel lock or a pen lock or a Texas lock or a trapper lock or whatever, a friction lock, you know. Um, but the access lock that, you know, Microtech's doing, it's pretty good. The only negative to it, they are very sharp pointed edges on... The thumb studs on the actual locking mechanism here that you, you know, would pull back on to disengage the lock. Um, so I don't know about that. I, I would really have to like mill down those edges or something because we tried them out and everybody that was there was like, they're great. They feel great. Um, but you just, they're really sharp. So yeah, so this is the Rogue Blade Works tagged out scales. And these are G10. These are the wave pattern. I'm going to get those on camera so you can see them. You have to upgrade because these are fantastic if you have it tagged out. Now, it makes them a smidge heavier. But overall, you know, the redesign of this, you can basically see how they've taken, you know, the design. And we'll do it on this side. But they've basically shaved off this back end and kind of dropped it down. You know, it gets rid of that lanyard hole, a little bit re redesign on the back end, but it makes it so comfortable in hand. I'm tagged out, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did I try the Mothis? I don't know what the Mothis is. What's up, Peter? Therapeutic Edge, Gold Class crew member. Thanks for being here. Appreciate that, good to see you. Um, but I have to say these G10, it makes it awesome that he has all the different colors in stock. He has a bunch of scales right now in stock. He's got mini bug out, full size bug out in the red resin, carbon fiber, even all that stuff. Oh, coffee on us later. Thank you, Peter, so much. That was very nice of you. I was super bummed out that neither of you guys made it to SHOT Show, but we'll have to make a trip to come see you guys. Maybe, maybe if there's a show coming up, let me know, like a California custom or even a local knife show. Maybe we'll make the trip down there. Get a few of us to go down there. <laughs> Shout out to Peter. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. That is too kind of you. A little coffee. I'll put that to good use for sure. For sure. But I really like the redesign of these. Um, it's super comfortable in hand. It just goes like with your hand itself. Um, this one's a little, you know, a little tiny bit curved from totally flat. But it's, you know... I mean, it's still comfortable in hand, don't get me wrong, but the G10 just makes it for me. And I'm not a lanyard fan. Um, I do like the fact that they are coming out with the thumb stud version. I really like that thumb stud version they're coming out with. So, you know, just kind of an idea. Um, one of the other ones, though, and it was just mentioned here a minute ago, uh, the, pra the Praytheon you can find over at Arcane Designs. He's got it for sale right now. Uh, Weed City Soul says Benjamin prices. Yeah, and th and that's the thing in Canada. They're they're way more expensive up there. But <laughs> okay, look at prison. Dang, sharp guy ATX gold class crew member coming in hot. Um, but yeah, that's that's one of the things is you know Rogue Blade Works also has the if you like Ultim, he has a pre order which uh, they will deliver by March. It looks like. Um, 
for a bug out scales and he's got kind of a diamond pattern to him. So check those out. What's up Napster? Oh, you did the Grizzly Ridge with Rogue Blade Works carbon fiber? Nice. Yeah, and I have the blue G10 ones. You'll see those coming up as well. I have the blue G10 for the Grizzly Ridge. We're gonna swap those out. So you'll see that video coming up here probably in about a week or so. We've got a few other videos posted this week. Um, and then we're also gonna try to do that live stream by next week, the updated one. So we'll, we'll put that out. I may even do another video just so you see it. Uh, I know the community posts don't always go. So make sure you hit that little bell icon down there so it alerts you when I do new posts just so you can kind of see when the updates are. But for the price, uh, I know you know the scales are a little more expensive. You know, you're looking at like $79 for G10 scales, but overall, seriously, like, you know, no flex. It just makes it incredible. Um, really changes the feel of it. Uh, Some Tissue says, I think the Narrows is about eight years too late. That time light and two years focus features they could ask for price in 2015. And that's, and that's kind of Anthem-esque, right? That's what I was talking about. So Anthem-esque. But I like, you know, upgrading my knives. Um, I hope to see a, a price adjustment on the Narrows and kind of go from there. Overall, the, the knife community in itself, you know, CRKT and Hogue are doing a couple of different uh, collabs and they're over 200 bucks for theirs. So, you know, those are very 940-esque, I think. Some of the original Osborne series designs kind of combined is what those look like. So I'd like to give those give those a check out. It's pretty cool. But yeah, Big Red put the links in there for the Pratheon and for Rogue Blade Works. If you like the Ultim, if you like that look, he's got them for sale up on his website. Pre-sale on the Ultim. All the other ones are in stock. Um, they ship here from Oregon. He's an Oregon-based company. Um, great guy. He's into Benchmades, but he's doing a lot of custom drops this year is what he said on his social media. So... I uh, have an MCR waiting for me. Sits in the mail. They went on strike. Should have arrived on Thursday. Oh, man. They went on strike for you? Oh, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Ah, oh, man. I hate it when those things get delayed. Yeah, it's kind of a, you know, and he, you know, Rogue Blade Works is very cautious on his website as well. Um, if you look at it, let me see if I can pull up on this iPad thing here. But basically, on Rogue Blade Works, it was, he put a little like FYI on there. So he's got the Ultim, he's got the Ultim stuff for pre-order, right? Uh, what is that, $89? But when you click into it and open it up, he's got a caution thing on there, like down here, and kind of explains what Ultim is. And, you know, slightly less rigid than factory scales. There's a decorative novelty material for light duty Knife use, um, doesn't recommend it for some of the heavier duty usage, uh, but overall, like, you can see the diamond pattern in it, and it's kind of a see-through, kind of that urine yellow, like, hey, you need to drink more water kind of thing if you're a heavy coffee drinker, but, you know, it does make the, uh, the bug out look pretty cool. You know, overall, you can see the inset liners, those kind of things, so kind of cool, and this is on the GRY-11, uh, GRY-1, bug out so you can kind of see the the gold accent so you know at least it blends in good kind of a gray coated material there but overall like he's got some really cool things um i hope he comes out with more but these are all the bug out scales that are in stock and mini bug out um not that i'm trying to sell anything to big red but uh we're the ones that i was looking at for big red you know red resin infused carbon fiber for a bug out i mean you know i'm just saying and I have some of those. Those are pretty cool. Um, I don't have the red resin infused for the full size, but those are the carved design that he makes. So just kind of a good idea of stuff that's out there for your knives, you know, little upgrades and stuff, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. So uh, the Ultima would look good with the 20 CV code, but yeah, it would, it would. The Tritium, the Tritium uh, thumb studs are from Glow Rhino. You can get those from Glow Rhino kind of exclusively. They also make a lanyard hole plug, which is pretty awesome. Um, however, when I talk to them, yeah, exactly, Rob, drinking more water, got it. <laughs> uh, when I talked to them, they were hinting at other things this year coming out. Uh, one of the things I talked to them about was 
Their current thub stud is a single sided one. And I was like, you know, you guys did the, you know, axis bar lock kind of thing for the Hogue Decas that was double. But I think they're trying to figure out how you can tighten them down. What's up, Luke? Remember the crew? Luke is here. What's up, Luke? I know. Where's our buddy drink water when you need him? Yeah, right, right. Drink water is not here. What's up, Layla? Nice, Marshall. You got a Praytheon ordered right on. <laughs> Praytheon's pretty cool. I got hands on with it. You know, he wasn't really showing it off at Blade West, but he's like, Zach, I know you're going to like this one. You know, him and I have talked a whole bunch and he's like, I know you don't like my big, you know, like the Necronaut was very angular. It was a big flipper. It wasn't for me, but he's like, I think you're going to like this one. So I got it in hand. Um, thumb stud, big drop point blade, stone washed. I dig it. So got mine ordered. I, I wish I had, uh, you know, the ability to order two of them because I was like, oh man, it'd be sweet. But I got one coming. Uh, I could only afford the G10 version. So, but I think he does have the titanium with like, uh, Damascus blade steel and stuff as well. So that's an option. That's an option. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Israel's cool. Some good stuff. So. Casey with Knives Fast, Alicord saying, hey, how's the pre-ordering going? You can head over. He's got a he's got a uh, Casey. And what is it? I think it's TempestKnives.com. You can go over and get. He's got a pre-order going. Check out his knife that he's got going for pre-order. Drinkwater's here. What's up, buddy? We were just talking about you. What's happening? BC Gerb's in the house. What's up, Dean? The Microburst. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Got the black one ordered so we can compare. Okay, cool, Marshall. Yeah, definitely. That'd be a perfect opportunity to meet up. I love it. Marshall's awesome, man. Love Marshall. Always fun to sit and chat about everything and see how things are going with him. Compare some knives. He also loaned me, which it's heading back this week, Marshall. But he also loaned me his 8020.5, which is cool. You know, um, he's he put some aftermarket blue scales on it and he's like, Zach, I know you're gonna like this one with these scales, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm still getting used to the the shark lock stuff. It's pretty sharp on the end, uh, but overall, it's pretty cool. A really thin knife as well for everything you get out of it. Super solid lockup. So, I compared that to a couple knives on the market, which is nice. Which is nice. So overall, let's see. We talked about a few things. We should probably open some packages. Oh yeah, I also got, um, I want to give a huge shout out to, and I didn't put this in there, so I'm sorry. Let me put a link in here. To our good friends over at Cutlery Shop. So uh, Jeff, his whole crew, um, you know, he was able to make sure that I got taken care of with this awesome pair of three. They're exclusive. Made in the USA, little... Lightweight pair of three, the black and orange. Patina Turner, what's up? Big Jimpin in the house. Yes, a very awesome happy birthday to BC Jerbs. Everybody give some birthday shout outs to BC Jerbs. Let's see if we can dial them in with a little bit of uh, musical fun here. Let's give them a couple little air horns. Give them some air horns. Let's see what else we got on the on the mix mix board here. See if we can find something fun. Let's see. We can't do the traditional like songs, right? Because they always get flagged for some reason, even though it's not copyrighted anymore, I guess. But let's see here. How about this one? No, that's not gonna be very good. Why don't you do something fun? <laughs> There we go. All right, so happy birthday, Jerbs. I hope you're doing something fun today. D2 R, R is in the house, Gold Class crew member. What's up, D2? But huge shout out to Cutlery Shop, um, making sure I got a hold of this one. Very, very much a DSKFS, do something kind for someone. You know, I was like, man, I've been trying to find this so much. And he's like, we got you covered right here. We got you covered. So I've been looking for one of these, finally got one. And I'm guessing it was like maybe his personal collection. I mean, it's their exclusive. So either way, it's a fun little knife. And I'm going to keep the wire clip on it for now. 
just to, you know, I got to fully test it, do a review on it, see how I like it. I know on my other one, I swapped it out, but that's how it goes. That's how it goes. But I am, I am liking some spider codes a little bit. So don't, don't hold me too accountable for that. Carco's here. What's up, Carco? Thanks for being here. Member of the crew, little super chat. <laughs> Working but listening in. Here's some coinage. Thank you, Carco. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. That was very, very awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dane's in the house. Gold class crew member. I think I said hi to Dane, but if not, what's up, Dane? Yeah, I've seen the appropriate opening hole. And I'll tell you what, I think overall, uh, I'm getting really, really... I don't want to say tired of thumb studs altogether, but I like the options for opening these knives, right? You can spidey flick them, those kind of things. And when I picked up this Griptilian, especially for, you know, from the, the Benchmade store, this was a canceled custom. So thank you to whoever canceled it because I was able to pick it up because this is not in the custom shop anymore. But the G10 Griptilian, I was like, thumb studs? No, opening hole? <laughs> FL1P Solos in the house. What's up, Robert? Thank you, Robert, for the super chat. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. We'll put that to good use, especially with today's giveaway. Have a little fun with it. One day, this guy will own a Spyderco. Yeah, hopefully. You know, I've been digging the Spydercos. I think, you know, overall, you know, a couple great knife brands, but this one's really thin. It's the lightweight. It's also got the forward finger choil. Um... You guys have seen I've carried the black lightweight version for a long time. I did some hardware upgrade on that one as well, but I like the black and orange, how that comes. Pretty awesome. Scott Benefield's in the house. What's up, Scott? Moose duty. Holes are better than studs. Any update on the DSKFS patches? Yeah, I just sent an email update um, to the company I ordered them from. So hopefully I'll have an update this week and I will post that. I'm guessing they're not working on the weekend, so I'll probably get an update tomorrow. And I'll maybe I'll do a community post update and just update everything from, you know, when we're doing stuff to the next thing. Miller86 in the house. Almost missed the live stream. <laughs> Thank you, Miller86, for the super chat. That is awesome. Thanks for being here. Twang Thangs. Member of the crew in the house as well. I love it. Yeah, Robert, it's an amazing community. What's up, Will? Bring out the Mini Adamas. I happen to have a Mini Adamas sitting right here. Request completed. This is a Mini Adamas in the Burgundy Micarta. Something that came out from last year. Little limited edition crew wear. I like that new blade coating as well. Doesn't reflect light or anything. Pretty awesome. Yeah, Dean, such a great community. Totally, totally. Uh, this mini Adama is just a little tank, little tank of a knife. You know, they have them in the, the FDE, the black, or of course this one, you can still find the limited, I think online. What's up, Marcus Forbes? How are you? Welcome. Welcome. When's the new live stream day? I missed the beginning. Yeah. So Luke, we're, uh, we're going to put out a community tab update this week. So make sure you have the bell turned on down below. Um, I'm just waiting to talk to a couple other channels. Well, not talk to them, but to get kind of confirmation that they're cool with it. Yeah, watching football. Yeah, I wish I was watching football too. Brasher beer, what's up? But that's the thing for me is like, I just want to, you know, I'm a nice guy like that, right? So I just want to make sure like everything's cool with other people. They know I'm going to butt up against them. I'm not going to run into their stuff. You know, we'll, we'll cross promote those kind of things. CK. <laughs> Thank you, CK. Shout out to CK. I appreciate the super chat donation. That is awesome. Thank you so much. And all your support as a gold class crew member. So let's get into open some packages. I have one that is here. And I think this is something that was sent to me from our good friend, Big Red EDC. And it was sent to me prior to SHOT Show. But I didn't get it before I left. So... Let's get this opened up. Shout out to Keith the Knife Freak for the F-150 spring opening. Ah, here we go. You guys, so many people recommended this. 
And Big Red said, it's on the way. So this is some O'Keefe's Working Hands Guaranteed Relief. We're going to try this out. Yeah, the Adamas is awesome. You'll be doing a live stream tonight at 5 Pacific. Nice, nice. But this is some Working Hands stuff. A little creamy. Guaranteed Relief Value Size. Thanks, Big Red, for sending this over. This is really cool. I'm going to try this out. I've been trying the, the stuff from Duluth, which is No Crack Lemon. And it's got a good smell to it. Oh, don't eat it. Oh, it's not yogurt. Dang it. Uh, this stuff's been okay, but it hasn't been working super well. So you guys had recommended this. And Big Red, before I even got off the live stream, I think Big Red's like, it's already on the way. And uh, much, much kinder than the, the value size box of... Uh, peanuts packing peanuts that i sent him so thank you big red for doing that i'm gonna try it out this week and let you know how it works but yeah pretty cool pretty cool stuff o'keefe's you guys said it's the way to go so we're gonna give it a try yeah and everybody's like yeah bam it's it's what works what's up chad what's it smell like let me smell this stuff this is kind of scentless there's no scent to the o'keefe's on this one there's no scent on this one but the lemon one definitely has a lemon scent to it so we'll give that a whirl as well, and uh, we'll report back next week. But already, just a little bit I put on my fingertip. It's 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 that's pretty good. Put it on before you go to bed, leaving it all night. I'm telling you, it works miracles. It's miracles, O'Keefe's. What's up, Blaze Burger? Blue goo users, yeah, a little blue goo. I like that. Yeah, that's one of the things where um, you know people. Trip, ticks, trips, and ticks, and ticks, and trips, tricks, and tips, always, always comes in handy. So let's see what else we got going on here. Now, I did order some stuff from our good friends at Olight um, before I went to SHOT Show, and they sent me a few of these things. You guys can probably tell why I ordered some of them. But I ordered a little bit of stuff. I used my code to get 10% off, which is Zach, Z-A-C-H, if you want 10% off. What's up, Laura? Welcome, welcome, Laura. Member of the crew for one month. Thank you, Laura, for being here. Thank you for your support as well. That is awesome. Yeah, everybody has a trick. I'm trying down to try some new stuff. But I wanted to try this out. I've been using these Olights for a while. This one's the i5R. It's a rechargeable version. So we're going to give that a whirl as well. I heard these were pretty cool. Um, these, I want to open this up real quick. So we've been using the little mini keychain lights. And you guys have seen those. i um, giving quite a few of those away as well. And Olight has sent some in as well with the last couple um, drops. So that's pretty cool. Craig Wilkes, member for six months. What's up, Craig? Thank you so much for supporting. So let's open this one up here. Oh, O'Keefe's works good after the rubber gloves. Okay, nice, nice. But I heard this one's been pretty cool because oh, it comes with a couple batteries here. I wonder if they're already installed. Probably not, but we'll double check it here. This is a little tiny keychain. And from what I understand is you pull this apart and the light's supposed to instantly come on. So it's got a little magnetic kind of cup that it sits in the whole time and it takes a good amount of force to get it off yeah i know i just tore it open <laughs> so barbaric so maybe the batteries are not installed oh they are so you do get a extra set so that's kind of cool comes with this little tab yeah so you see how the batteries are stacked in there that's cool so you got some backup batteries so i guess i'll need to keep that in the box so basically you screw this on and it's just an instant on kind of thing. So you put it on here and it turns it off. Now this is kind of cool. And like I said, this is the mini tiny magnetic and instant light from Olight. Um, I think they have different seasonal colors, but basically if you need it, you just pop it off and it turns right on. So that's pretty cool. And I know other people have shown this as well, but I wanted to try it out. Um, but you guys, you can go to their website. You can order it up. Use that code Zach Z A C H get ten percent off your order. Tactical Terry eight seventy nine. 
Yeah, is this a weird place for a Tinder date? <laughs> but yeah, it's swivel, so you can put it on the end of your bag. So I'm going to probably put it on the end of my bag or on my pouch. It might go good on my pouch. You know, we'll put, we have the Mightier pouch here. I can either put it on here with the zipper pull or I can put it inside as well. But, you know, I have some of my other lights and stuff in here. You see this one, this is one I use all the time, the i5T. So we're gonna give the, the, the rechargeable one a try as well. I keep one of those on my work badge lanyard. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, I might do that. Just put it on the work badge. Then if you need something, you just pop it off. Bam, there you go. And I wonder, it's probably gonna be too small to read. These are LR41s, these batteries. So yeah, that's really cool. They give you an extra set. So I'll put those back in here along with the care and use manual. But I'm digging that. And they're pretty, pretty reasonable as well. So yeah, you've been using yours well, Nick. Oh, you got the rechargeable one? Yeah. And that's and that's what I have for the other ones. Um, I don't know if I have them in here. I think that I'm using the one. Let's see if I have the other one in here. Uh, I do have the one right here. I don't know if this is the rechargeable one. Yep, this is the rechargeable one as well. I really like this one. You know, this is a twist one. So you gotta twist it on, but it works really well. Two light modes on this one, which is kind of cool. And you can see the size comparison. So it's even much smaller, the little pull apart magnetic one. I just dig how that works. So I might order a couple more of these. These have been really handy as well. And these are the, uh, Tim probably knows. The I, I thanks, I T H X on these. These are awesome. But yeah, we'll give this little mini one a try. We'll test that out for the next couple weeks, see how much we use it. But great idea, Tim. Keep it on there. The i3 TEOS is a little triple battery, triple A battery one. Pretty good stuff. So we'll give those a try. And then we got the utility knife. I always want to see what these are like. Yeah, exactly. Knife and flashlight game innovation and this is part of the o knife series this is the o tactical have not used one of these but i had to get the blue right the blue g10 go with it but kind of a little slide out push down slide out knife pretty good size something that might work for most jobs it's got two so it's got one lock-in point right here, so you can get just a little tiny bit. And this way, if you also need like a certain depth, you're not gonna go too deep into the package to cut. Or if you want a little bit more exposure, you can go there, but it's still gonna give you that, you know, that exposure to probably about right here. So you're not gonna go too far into the package. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, right, Jerbs, yeah. And then of course, it's got a little bit of hex design on here. Little laser marking stuff, so that's pretty cool looking. O tackle, the O tackle, and then of course here it's got like a little screwdriver bit, and then this is supposed to be a bit holder as well. So kind of some cool innovative designs. You know, it got a little screwdriver piece, so it does take a little bit extra to to get a different blade in there. So it's not as you know quick and you know tactical as like you know one of the speed versions you'd get from Home Depot or something or Lowe's, but. Salty Smurf, what's up? Yeah, but overall pricing on these is pretty good too. So no extra blades, but they do give you some poison for the trolls in here, which is kind of cool. Haven't sampled any of those yet, but I hear those are pretty tasty. Just kidding. And there's the link right there. Big Red put it up. Just the tip, Chad says, just the tip. Thank you for the links, Big Red. Like I said, give Big Red a shout out. Follow his channel if you haven't. It's good stuff. What's up, Josh? Welcome, welcome. Looks a bit like a barking dog. My dog's gonna be like, what is going on in there? All right, so let's see what else we got going here today. What else has come in? Now, I did have a knife that I gave away last week that I have not opened up yet. So we're going to open this up on the channel and we're going to Put this over here, maybe. Boy. We're gonna see what's in here. 
kind of show you guys. I want to get first impression, and then I'll probably have to order another one if I like it because I've already given this one away. I gave it away last week in my live stream from Vegas. Kershaw in the house. What's up, Stella's Knife Obsession? How are you? Mark Herrera, welcome as well. Thank you both for being here. Blaze Burgers in the house. Now, this is the heist, the Kershaw heist. This is a Kershaw Axis style lock. It's made overseas. About $50. They, what's up, Elijah? They still have some in stock over at Blade HQ. That's why I ordered this one. I'm not an affiliate there, so select your favorite affiliates right now besides myself. I was trying to talk to them about it, and they're like, yeah, let's do something. And then, you know, I failed that knife test, uh, you know, a knife cutting test of Bla Blade West. And they were like, well, I don't know, maybe about that. Uh, a really good texture in hand, I noticed at first. Um, yeah, this is really, really good texture. Familiar looking lock, you know, let's, let's test out of the box. Okay, it's a little sticky. It does close, so I can't complain about that. Probably just need some slick -em all so we'll take it apart. We'll put some slick -em all on it, maybe before it goes out the door. Dang, I okay. There we go. A couple standoffs, barrel spacers, three of them. I like the grip texture to it. Now, Big Red, you had one of these as well, right? And I know you were kind of digging it. I like the blade shape. I like the blade shape. Let's just double check and make sure we can, uh, you know, do the, the smooth precision paper slice out of the box. All right, that was a fail. Let's try this again. Gotta, we're gonna have to strop this. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay, not terrible, not terrible. You know, I think this one is D2 blade steel. Coming out of the box. Yep, D2, KAI, made in China. Has that little, little design right there. Hmm. Wonder whose logo, the emblem that is. Okay, but I'm liking this one, I'm liking the heist. got a full full cutting edge I like that so I would have to look it up it it has the sound of like an FRN so let me look it up really quick yeah Elijah the other stuff is great oh it's in-house design okay paper Zach's kryptonite well and that's the thing like you know if you really look at overall paper cutting you know, I'll compare it to like the tagged out, you know, I mean, it's going to come down to your grind, but that right there is a burr on my blade. But then if you just cut it, you're good to go. So I think overall, you know, it's going to be cutting edge, but yeah, behind the camera, in front of the camera, all good stuff. But D2 on this one's pretty fair. Pretty fair. You know, I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with this one. I like the shape of it. Um, let's do a quick comparison. Let's get it. Uh, I wanted to pull it up and see if we got. Oh, they're calling it the Dura Lock. So on Kershaw's website, they have it from $84.99 down to $67.99. But on Blade HQ is right around 50 bucks. Um, gosh, where are they saying they're doing that? Bronze washers, thumb studs, deep pocket carry. Hmm. The subtle handle texture. They don't want to say what it is. <laughs> Uh, designed in the USA, made in China. But to me, it has a feel of G10. So, 
I'll double check and look it up. They don't come right out and say it, at least on the Kershaw website, but I, I like the look of it. I mean, it's a, it's a very familiar look and feel to me. Uh, you know, if we're looking at like, you know, the 940, uh, where's a bug out? Do I not have a bug out around here? Hold on. I got a bug out here. You know, if you're looking at like a bug out 940 combo comparison, very esque rubberized G10. No, it's got more of a, a harder feel to it. It says FRN at Blade HQ. Okay. So it's probably an FRN, but it's a textured and it doesn't feel as hollow. So maybe internally, um, I'll get another one. I don't want to take this one apart because we've already given this one away, but um, I don't see any internal like milling, as you can see, it's all very flat inside. So there's no internal milling. So it must just be a solid chunk of, chunk of FRN. And then they texture the outside right? Probably a milling feature. You might be able to mold and inject that, but I'm not sure because texturing wise, it's pretty good. But you can kind of feel up here. It feels like the FRN, but the texture portion does not. But yeah, overall, I think this is a good knife. I know they also have the other one um, that has the aluminum scales, kind of similar, you know, locking mechanism as well. Yeah, and I think for fifty dollars, you know, I think that's what it's going for on Blade HQ, right? It's like fifty bucks. Um, let me see here. Yeah, fifty four ninety five at Blade HQ. I think that's a I think that's a real good, fair, reasonable price on that one. So we'll see about getting another one of those ordered up. Oh, that's funny. Yep. No, I agree with, I agree with some of that. I agree with some of that, but for $50, cold steel has great knives that are affordable and they use FRN. Yeah. I think, I think a lot of those, you know, that's one of the things where, you know, it's not the, it's not the traditional FRN that's going to be like internally milled out or anything. I think it's just one of those like, why is this not going through? I'm trying to get a website pulled up and it's just not working. Hmm. That's too funny. All right. Well, we'll look at that later. No need to delay the live stream. Yeah, and the FRN texturing is, is a lot different. Um, I kind of dig it. The only thing would be is, you know, there's no landing pad for the clip. It's ambidextrous. So, you know, if you are concerned about the texture on the type of pants or anything you're wearing, or if you're a slacks kind of guy or khakis, um, you might deal with this texturing a bit. So might be something good to kind of mark off where it is and maybe smooth it out a little bit you know, with some sandpaper or a little, uh, a wheel Dremel or something, and then just bend your clip down a little bit accordingly. But yeah, NAF sale is a good place. It's pretty good. Um, there's only been one, you know, bench made on there that I saw that was kind of questionable. Um, there were some fakes that were made of that style knife and, you know, people were claiming it was legit. Um, and the seller was like really hesitant about providing extra photos. So just be careful when you're buying that stuff. It's not guaranteed through, you know, any sort of means to be, you know, solid. You're kind of user based. So make sure you check out the user, make sure they provide good stuff. Um, you know, I can't, I can't answer everything, but I'll try to help people out too. You know, people have talked to me. What's up, DE? Yeah. Steel inserts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then one of the other things was, why does the thumbnail say, is this the last Sunday live stream? Elijah, this will be the final Sunday live stream. What's up, Lefty EDCs in the house, along with Adventure Man, Adventure Man member of the crew. We got blessed by Lefty. What's up, Lefty? Lefty's in the house. 
Leftophilus. Yeah, it's good to see Lefty out there. What's up, buddy? But overall, this will work for Lefty as well. You can flip that pocket clip over to the other side. And get it going, faux show. So yeah, so we'll be doing the live streams on a different day, different time. That stuff will be coming up. Uh, we'll be announcing that here within the next week or so. And uh, we'll, we'll get that going. But overall, no, we'll still do live streams. We still got live streams. We're just switching up the day. It's going to work better for me personally, as well as, um, you know, opening up for more opportunities. Uh, I think is the easiest thing I can say right now. I have a couple things I want to do. Sundays makes it really hard for um, other things I want to do, if that makes sense, for a live stream. Final of January 2023. Yeah, right, right. No, so next Sunday, you won't see me on a live stream. Um, but you'll see what we're talking about on a different one. This also has kind of that that ramping up of kind of like your you know mini freak or super freak. So I kind of like the design they did. They kind of took a couple things. You know, if you look at just this section, it kind of really looks like a 940 right through here in that bolster area. You know, the thumb studs are comfortable. So props to them on that. Props to them on that. You know, I, I don't, we'll see how the, the clip works, but it looks relatively deep carry, you know, almost to the end of the knife. So we'll test it out and figure it out. We have another one coming, but this one's already been given away last week. So it'll be on its way to its new owner today. Avoiding the lineup. Yeah, exactly, Miller. And that's the thing is, you know, I was also, you know, just to be open. Um, I had lined up a couple people to be on the stream and Sundays were really hard for them at this time to get available. And I want to bring some of that extra content. Um, so having it on a different day would be good. And so I think if we try it out, we can go from there. Mark your calendar. Zenny's in the house. January 4th is your birthday. Some handmade macaroni. Johnny Quesada, member of the crew for five months. Yo, doing Sunday chores and listening. Nice. What's up, Johnny? Johnny Q. Johnny Q's in the house. So anyways, the so Kershaw Heist is a pretty good one. Um, like I said, they do have them in stock at several places. Uh, about $55. Um, the, the retail full MSRP at Kershaw, $84.99. You know, they have it marked down to $67.99 on their website. Still a bit high in the 60 range for what you're getting, but D2, made in China, um, kind of the FRN with a lot of texturing feels good. So $55, that's a, that's a win. That's a, that's a order one, you know, carried it around. It'd be a good solid EDC choice for, you know, under 75 bucks. Cause most of that stuff, I think like with Blade HQ and whatnot, you get that going. Um, you can usually get free shipping after you spend, you know, 50 or $75 with them. So it's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Um, let's see here. What else we wanted to cover real quick? Dun, 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 dun. Yes. So I don't know if you guys have seen Notorious EDC on here, on Instagram, I mean. Um, makes some awesome stuff. Puts out a lot of good things. He has an all good pouch. They're very hard to get a hold of. But he did something cool this week. He opened up yesterday a pre-order for the all black one. It's $50. Um, it's bigger than the mightier pouch. You can also put some full size pens in it, those kind of things. So definitely check that out. I think big red might be able to get a link up for the notorious EDC's all good pouch pre-order. He's going to have it open for a week. So I kind of like that, especially when you get these, you know, things that are really, really hard to get, but yeah, the Kingpin, he also just posted. Yeah. There's the link right there from big red. He also just posted some all blacked out kingpins today. So if you're looking for that, check that out as well, which is really, really awesome. Miller 86 coming in hot with the super chat <laughs> for football money. I love it. Thank you, Miller 86. That is awesome. I appreciate you doing that. Really, really cool. Uh, we got a griptilian going back to Lou. We got it all done up. Got a new blade on it from Life Sharp Warranty. That one's headed back to Lou. Long Island Knife guy. So check that out. What's up, Blade Ogre? 
There you go. JR Miz to Nick. They're going to drop some soon on Buddy HQ as well. That's pretty cool. Now, you guys have seen Alicord Paracord in the house. She's got some stuff that she sent over for my giveaway. So I'm going to wait to open that. But you guys, check out Alicord Paracord. Some awesome things, especially the like mini ball tappers. And those things are awesome for your keychains and whatnot. She also makes some bigger ball tappers. So you can carry around as like a wrist lanyard. That's pretty cool. And let's see, what else did we want to cover on this? Oh, yes. I might have picked up a new knife. Let's turn it around that way. Might have picked up a new knife. New knife day. New knife day. What could be in the new knife day? Hmm. Let's see here. Cat toys. Yeah, she makes good cat toys too. Any guesses on the ProTech box? What's up, Evil E? Hashtag new knife day, NKD. That's right, Dan. MTEC in a ProTech box? You heard it first here. <laughs> no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop. What's up, Will? A runt. Louis says a Malibu runt, Malibu blue Mordax godfather. Scott N, Gold Class Crew Member says 2023, New Zach. Matisfaction in the house. What's up, Maddie? What's going down, buddy? Les George Rockeye, Operator. Ooh, nice one, Dean. Oh, that's something we didn't do. Okay, after this, I'll show you this really quick. But we will do a pocket check right after this. I'm going to have to drink some water and get ready for that because we got a bunch of people in the house. Okay. Love the magnetic box closures, by the way. Okay, new knife day. Yeah, <laughs> Mass Effect says, why am I not a channel member anymore? Well, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, those those usually, I, I usually find mine when I'm like on somebody's live stream and I'm like, why am I not a channel member? And I'm like, oh, that's right. My card expired like a month ago. So I usually end up doing that. Have to go back through and like, envision all the all the channels i was subscribed to is a blue textured malibu blue textured malibu beautiful beautiful knife Ooh, blue textured malibu now there's a couple things really really cool and special about this one and the first one is this is a warren cliff Got the original OG Warncliffe in the house. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, Mattis Faction, to the crew. Thanks for signing up to be a crew member again. <laughs> Mattis Faction back on the crew. Now, this one, smooth as ever. The action, just beautiful. But the coolest part about this one, I really like the Warren Cliff version. You guys are going to see this more and more, especially coming up at your shows. So Blade Texas. Now last year, they did a really, really cool one for Blade Texas. Let me get it. I have it laying around here. It's a. It was a textured Malibu with a pearl inlay button. Holy good golly smokes. It's the last time I may be able to mod for you. It's been a pleasure to do, my friend. Big red EDC. Oh, my goodness. Big red EDC. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing, man. I really appreciate you doing that. You will always be a mod for this channel. Don't forget that, you guys. Give a huge shout out to Big Red. Also, I appreciate your friendship as well. Um, you know, lifelong friends you meet here in the community. Uh, Big Red's one of them. So thank you. That is really, really super kind of you. You did not have to do that in any fashion, especially with all the things that you do outside of YouTube. So thank you so much. 
Oh my gosh, where are we at? Okay, another huge shout out. <laughs> Push it real good. Push it. Nuts for knives, a little more love. Thank you, Nuts for Knives. Oh my gosh. Okay, where were we at here? Malibu's Malibu's. Let's see here. <laughs> Malibu's Malibu's. Okay, the Warncliffe Malibu came out. Obviously, they did a special version with that, you know, reverse Tonto. This was for Blade Texas last year, so I can only imagine what they're going to do this year for Blade Texas. Um, I did confirm with ProTech they are doing some special knives. This might be one of them, the Warncliffe version. Um, but definitely keep an eye out. Your retailers, I think... Um, Ross Cutlery just got their new drop and it posted yesterday. So keep your keep your eyes out if you're looking for a Warncliffe version in uh, Malibu. I can't even talk anymore. Thanks, Big Red. I appreciate that, man. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things right there where it's just like a really cool version of it. But the awesome part is, if you see right here, it's in MagnaCut. So this is the MagnaCut version. It's the updated version of the Malibu with that beautiful, beautiful, pointy, slicey blade. You guys know Mal or uh, ProTech does their Malibus upright. I mean, the pocket clip is flush with the scales. It's just fantastic. So huge shout out to uh, ProTech. Loving it, loving it. <laughs> and we won't be buttoned up on SKL. I don't want to push out old Big Red there. But yeah, you guys will see the uh, the update here in the next week or so. We'll talk to those other channels just so they know what we're doing because I don't want to push out on them. You know what I mean? So we do have that 13K giveaway. So that'll be posting up this week. So pay attention to that. I will also say if you see a video, check it out. Leave a comment because there'll be more random giveaways on my videos this year as well. So just want to put that out there to all of you because you guys are so awesome. So awesome indeed. So quick, quick deal. Let me get a drink of water. Let's do some pocket checks. Oh, seven to seven, Eagles and Niners. Oh man, it's gonna be a good game. Okay. Need a Microtech, any recommendations? Uh, if you're looking for an OTF, I like the uh, Ultratech. That's a pretty good one. See, ProTech is small enough they can make changes very fast. Yeah, Nick, and they're still backed up as well. But just, you know, I like how they plan for the different events, the different shows, and they put, you know, batches out for that stuff. So Rusty Knife Lover has a Shatterborn Hanks Hank, Fedoranox Pioneer X, a BB Riffle, Kaiser Roach, and a CRKT Minimalist with Flytanium Scales. Copperlight Steve has the Blaze Burger Magna Cut is what... Lava cut is before it erupts. Oh, okay. Cursaw Splinter with painted spacers and a Ferrum Forge gent from Michael R. Edgy Americans here. What's up? Mark Vickers is here with a QSP Penguin Carbon Fiber. Have to run, says Blade Ogre. So glad you're still doing lives. Take care, everyone. Bobo Schnoggins saying hi to Edgy. Kevin Campbell is the Kaiser. Cormorant and the original in fat carbon. Da, da, da. We Vision R and a JC Chickadee for Javon's Knife Attic Life. UTX 85 or a Trudon, says Sean. Um, international friendly schedule. Yeah, stuff sharp enough. We're looking at all that right now, so that'll be good. Da, da, da. Kershaw, Iridium, and a Remet hand feel for Big Red EDC. Master Moderator. Arcane Pratheon. Oh, nice. You got your Pratheon already. Right on. That's pretty cool, Mallory. I wonder how you got that. No, I'm just kidding. That's a good one right there. CRK Team and Andy with Box Elder Inlays for DGA. Silcom or UTX85 are good? Yes, definitely. For Microtex, yep. Um, ba -ba -da. Recon 1 for Bobo Schnoggins. Yeah, that's a good one, Big Jimpin'. Uh, Chad Damron has the GEC 86 Black Angus. Medford Smooth Criminal for Johnny K. Sada. Pretty fly for a knife guy has a CGRB Feldspar button lock and a piece of Jake's Jank. 
Rob Tenring has a 940-2 and an Olight Baton 3. Good little carry there. Brasher Beer has the Hogue EX-01. Another solid one. PM2 Crew Carta. Nice for Evil E. Uh, Blue Burr with my custom silver twill carbon fiber inserts today. It's a gorgeous one, Marshall. It's a gorgeous one. Uh, Copper Light Steve says, I'm carrying my Shiro F95 NL Orange and Black G Carta. Benchmade Super Freak for Will Klamek. I like the mini Super Freak coming out too, I gotta admit. Uh, Ritter RSK for Mark Ridgewell. Nice, nice. Nick says, I need talent. I'll be right back. Um, let's see here. CPM, we got the Shirogov F95-0. Nice. Fire in the Hawk Deadlock, says Dean. Manix XL for Edgy American. Bees Blades in the house. What's up, Bees? Love it. Stuff sharp enough. It's got the perfect Sunday pair. The OG Green 945, my trusty 943. Kaiser Soze and a Civivi Lazar for Acid Test Kids. Benchmade Claymore, QSP Hedgehog, I5T Plus, and Issuing Stitches Hank for Mike Jernak. Patina Turner's got the Mini Champ with Ty, Prometheus Scales, and a QC Drift. Tim S. says the Vosti Nightshade with Thumb Hole, Olight Arkfeld, Olight Open Mini, and the O-Knife O-Pry Pro. The Todd Begg Steelcraft EDC Flipper for Paper Tiger. The Shaman for Chicago 23. The Hiccup S35 VN Carbon Fiber for Miller 86. Grab my Malibu Warney, says one minute knife review. Nice. Bees is headed home, flipping the Kubi Master Chief. Nice, nice, Bees, nice. Bees a Gold Class crew member. Shout out to Bees Blades. I think you guys are all following Bees, but if you're not, check him out as well. David Iverson's got the Microtech UTX 70 Hellhound. Those Hellhounds are awesome. Microtech Ultratech Bayonet. Baby B and a Forest Hank. William Letterman's got the Still Gom Ming Can't Stop. Griptilian with custom death grip scales for Joe Solomon. The OD Green G10 with orange liners and OD Green Backspacer. Big Jimpin's carrying my Winter Blade Co. Factor. Most fidgety knife I own. That is, that is, that is a definitely a fidget factor knife. That is amazing. All right, let's see here. Um, Nick Martino says, I can't stop carrying these S45V in Malibu. Smooth Blue, the Devo Stout, the Leatherman Skeletool, my Olight Perrin 2 Mini and Camo, my Holy Grail Budget Pyrite Standard for Marcus Forbes. Guess a Benchmade 928 Proxy Burple, just finished. Nice Napster. Nice. Pair 3 Lightweight for Layla, a Factor for Jay Hardesty, King Snake Jake in the house, Super Light Carry today, says Nick. Anton Tony's got the bug out. Mattis Faction's got the Winter Blade Factor for me. Nice. A couple of you guys got the Winter Blade Co-Factor. Nice. Smash the like button. Baby Banter with Kitty Space Scales for David H. Nice. William B's got the Grinsmo Norseman. The Farron Forge Alrus. And the Concept Predator out sitting on the couch watching the Twins. The Pilar 3 for Dave Willis. Nice. Poncho 151. Gold Class Crew Member. What's up? Got the Magna Cut Mac 2 3.5 and Macarta TRM Nerd. Byron Kennedy's got the just a ABKT Stockman and an off grid all day Necker as my crew of blades packed while we install some bedroom flooring. Ooh, got the flooring going in. Nice. Ed Harrison's flipping the Nimble W. Got from Mattis Faction. Right on, right on. Get a drink of water here. Large blade with hollow handle, stuffed with fisher gear, 50 feet of paracord, ferro rod, and a bottle of water. Just kidding, says Ron. Nice. <laughs> some tissue says, getting some extra help for my Spec Ops belt, auto bedlam, fixed blade contigo, and custom leather sheath, and an Olight Carbon Fiber Seeker 2 Pro. Some good ones, man. Uh, Blazeburger had a McNeese Big Mac earlier, carrying the crew wear pair three now by the fire. Alex is here. What's up, man? Not carrying anything right now, says JR. It must be crazy. Oh, no, you got to relax. Got to relax. Uh, Knives Fast got the Wee Knives Trogon and the Devo Knives Pony Stout, both blue. El Cap Attic, old school USA made Gerber. Just says Gerber USA 600. I love it. 
Sam's got the 940BK-2002. Solid, solid. And I don't even have any knives out here. What is going on? What is going on? I need some knives out here. Get some blue, get a little blue theme going here or something, right? You get some blue knives out here. Blue knives. Call to order. Some blue knives on the table. Uh, Field Duty 3.5 and a Warrior by Leong Ma for Louie. The Spider Code Techno 2 for Dang Ross. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Zon for I Love Knives. Let's see what else we got here and what else we got here. Chris Rainer's in the house. What's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. All right. Where did we leave off? Baby Banner. Winter Blade Co. Bug Out. Factor. It jumped a bunch, but let's go back through. Fug Bug, what's up? This is the final Sunday live stream. We're going to be going a different day, a different time. That'll be put up on the community channel. You'll see some new stuff going on from that here in the future. But we got a little fun going, so this will be the final Sunday live stream at noon Pacific. So we're going to have a fun little giveaway here coming up. Just being here, Arnold is actually winning. Don't forget that. 80-20.5 for drink water. Got to see if I miss any others. Spartan Blades Palace for Addicted to Blades 2. Tim S. No, I wasn't always able to tune into your live streams due to family activities, but no more Zach stuff. It's just like an end of an era. <laughs> it is, it is. And you know what? What's up, Matt Harvey? Welcome, welcome. Satu McNeese 3.5 for Zenny. Small Sabenza Black 31 Black Macarta Inlay for Dane. Broke out the Infidel yesterday for El Cap Attic. Wife is rocking the Loco, says Pedro. Nice. My blacked out mini bug out for Ron. Nice, nice. Kershaw Leak, or Brood, I think. It's bigger than the Leak. Okay, nice, Pedro. <laughs> Everybody dropping the factors like rubber on the floor. Pair of three lightweight for them. TRM Neutron, the weak kite fin for Josh. Sitting here with a lap full of Casa XX peanuts, reminiscing my early 80s collecting days. Nice, Twang Thang. EFC's here. What's up? Take care, Dylan. I'll talk to you later, buddy. Have fun today. All right. My laptop decided to do an update right now, so it's pretty groovy. In case you hear, you know, an airplane in the background. All right. Case double X. Gotcha, gotcha. XX. All right. Dude, that fan is so loud. Come on. Thanks again, Big Red. That is so kind of you. Get that going. <laughs> Scott's already changing up the calendar. You guys, KnifeTubeSchedule.com. Maintained by our good friend Scott in here in the chat. Check that website out if you haven't. He keeps us all organized. You can also just pull it up. And see literally who's going to go live or who's scheduled to go live that day at that time. That's pretty awesome he does that for us. So give a huge shout out to Scott as well. When am I going to mail you your warranty pro tech? Eh? Never know. We'll have to see about, you know, what, what's out there and available. Thank you, Big Red, for always being an awesome moderator and posting up the links. I know we'll see you again here on the channel doing some moderating. We won't, we won't go too far for you. <laughs> but we'll be like, all right, what's, the, what's the, the hardest day in time for you? We'll choose that. No, I'm just kidding. That's actually the, the first thing I thought about is like, man, am I going to have any moderators? You know, because you get those crazy bots and stuff. And I know on the back end, and I've talked about this before, but you guys do not see, unless you're a moderator for somebody's channel, you don't see all the pop-ups, all the things like, even if you, like I would say probably 30 to 50% of comments when you actually use the custom emojis for being a member, actually pop up a hold on the back end that you don't get to see. Only the, the channel owner and the moderator see it and you have to approve or hide those messages. And so 
Like when we do shout outs and other stuff, like a bunch of those pop up for review um, in the messages before they get published. So that's why too, they get a little out of order, but you know, Big Red, I know Marshall, Peter, uh, Women Carry Knives, you just do amazing work here as moderators for my channel. So thank you to all the moderators who are here. Their, their names are highlighted in blue and they have that little wrench by their names. So that's pretty cool. Mark says, I purchased a Blade HQ exclusive 80, 20.5 and carbon fiber. Oh, that's cool. Picked up the tag out. Right on, King Snake. You'll have to let me know how you like it. And then, uh, you know, there's also those custom scales you can grab from Rogue Blade Works. They have smooth or the wave pattern. I like the wave. They work out pretty good. Uh, I wonder who will slide into the Sunday slot, Zach. Yeah, you never know. You know, and I know that's been a, a question as well because, like, you know, if other people want to, to move up earlier, you know, Peter, Christine, maybe get things done earlier. It might be an option for them as well. So I don't think it'll be a slot where you won't see anyone. And if it goes unfilled for too long, maybe I'll do a secondary live every week. You never know. Um, am I still going to mod for Big Red? Of course. Of course. Yep. I, I, I really have a hard time meeting the, the Wednesday mornings moderating uh, live stream for him just because I'm at work. Um, but all his other live streams, like next week, it's gonna be an 11 a.m. Pacific SKL on Saturday, so I'll be there. So it's pretty good. Uh, Alice can moderate, there you go. Unless it's Wednesdays or Thursdays. Okay, okay. I appreciate that, I appreciate that, that's awesome. Yeah, and that's the weirdest thing, Pretty Fly for Knife Guy. Like, coming in so much, you would think like your own emojis wouldn't flag it but it does and it does it on everyone's channel like everyone's like i haven't seen what's up zachary Ott? member of the crew thanks for being here so that's the weirdest thing yeah i'll still be around we'll still have live streams we'll still have fun stuff maybe a little bit of a change for everybody but we'll see how it goes and we'll go from there and if you like the new content if you like some of the stuff we're doing then that'll be great i need a meat check i know i need to get some more meat more of uh, Zenny's meat. The M-bomb jerky. I think I need to set up a deal with Big Red or somebody to like do the, you know, the the uh, the gifting flavor, the DSKFS flavor. You can only gift it to somebody. You can't order it for yourself. Blaze goes, I man, I'd love to moderate, but I just can't. It's too much power. Yeah, you do have the ability to like time people out and those kind of things, and you know, that's that's pretty crazy. But it's just one of those things, like you know, you have to kind of know your your channel people. You know, you can put user in a high, you can hide the user, you can remove uh, their comments, you can put them in timeouts, you can pin people's messages, those kind of things. So you know, it's kind of one of those big things. So. Yeah, stuff sharp enough. That is awesome stuff, huh? That elk uh, back strap that I put on Instagram today. Amazing. So about six hours on the Traeger. Um, I peg uh, or I uh, tag Traeger in it, so hopefully they see it. But kind of cool. The Benchmade kitchen knives and stuff. You get some amazing use out of those, and you know, highly recommended. And I do have to give a huge, huge shout out. He's probably not watching. But I met an amazing, wonderful guy at Benchmade on Friday. Um, really cool guy. He's from California. Um, he does some business trips up through Washington and Oregon and whatnot. And he always stops in at Benchmade. And he got an awesome canceled custom. So that was pretty cool. Story time. Mrs. B says hi. What's up, Mrs. B? Ms. B, what's up? Got the girlfriend. Yeah, and I have her... Just so you guys know, any of the new members from last week when I was still in Vegas, um, there's some other people stuff. I know like Luke and Todd, um, some packages going out to all of you guys. Those will go in tomorrow's mail. So we'll get those sent out so everybody has their stuff dialed in. But yeah, it's good stuff. <clears throat> it was hard this week to get caught up on shipping, but... I got it all done this weekend, and now it's just waiting to drop off in the morning. What's up, Ryan Bullard? How are you? 
It's the final Sunday live stream. We'll be doing it a different day, a different time. Did you go to Pawn Stars? Every time we went by Pawn Stars, it was closed. So we weren't able to make it during the normal hours where they have the lobby open, but... The Sour Broughton. Okay, okay, I'll have to try that. I'll have to try that. Yeah, definitely, Nick, definitely. Mouthful of meat and handful of nuts from Zenny. Yeah, and Big Red, if you have the link right there to Zenny's, um, the M-Bomb Jerky, definitely check that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Take another drink of water real quick, and then let's do a giveaway. And it wouldn't be a giveaway without something special. So, what do we give away today? Let's do some giveaway stuff. What are we going to give away? Oh, you know what I wanted to open up real quick? Before we do a giveaway, I wanted to open this up. Um, this package here, I might not be able to do it on camera, so let me do it off screen real quick. Just so I don't give away people's addresses. But these are some new stickers. New stickers. Oh, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have a quantity, a big quantity of stickers. So we ordered some from our good friends at Zug Monster. And let's see what we got. Oh, we got some of the new Zach Stuff stickers. So you've seen these die cut ones. We have the full square ones with the easy pull tab. I like the easy pull tab. Those are pretty cool. Those I think those turned out pretty well. What do you guys think? Pretty good, a little glossy, a little glossy. So let's put one of those into today's giveaway. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, Alice, I was gonna open it on the giveaway. Is that okay? I was gonna open that for the giveaway video. But yeah, I like the big ones. I like the big, I like the black background to them. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. Credit for the, uh, the artwork. Goes to uh, Pocket Metal, our good friend Pocket Metal, but I like the way these turned out. So we got some of those for giveaways now, which is awesome. Yeah, definitely. Heck yeah. Look just like the logo there. I like the Zach stuff in the middle. We did have a we have a design as well, which I think is in the in the custom emojis here. Oh, I didn't put that. Oh, yeah, I put that one in. The Zach stuff's actually on the bottom. It's hard to see on those, but... Yeah, yeah, the 940 design was like, we got to come up with something close to that because it's just like an ode to, like, the perfect EDC knife for me and kind of the, the staple of my channel and my love for the 940 and the blue design. And, you know, I definitely talked about that. Secret Groovy Man, yeah. I talked about that at Blade Show, or I'm sure at SHOT Show too. So we talked about that a little bit. And we're like, come on now, we need to see the Zach exclusive. Get that rolling, get that rolling. Come on now. Okay, let me organize my thoughts, myself in general, so we can get some giveaway stuff on the board here. We need to get something to write with piece of paper there we go there we go we got some swag we got glow rhino patch we got a lynch northwest patch we got big red edc uh grumpy grunt all hogue eggs and ham benchmade stickers some new benchmade stickers as well that came out at shot show Benchmade only sticker you can get at the factory, of course. Little Fit Devil stickers. The Glow Rhino stickers. Blade Banker. Some more Benchmade stuff. 
that came out. WorkSharp, all of our good friends there. OCD for EDC. We got some really cool swag for today. I'm loving that. Oh, nice. That's how you use your stickers. Right on, right on. Honeybear85. <laughs> uh, okay, 39% are Magnet Cut, S90V32, 24154CM, and 5% HCR13 MOV. What's up, Gator Aaron? So there's your Steel Choice preference just out of the list I gave you. 198 votes. I love that. That's pretty awesome. There goes dinner. There's the giveaway rules. One guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. Round two in case of a tie. Guess from one profile only. U.S. addresses only. Zach screen is final. Thank you, Big Red, for posting that up. What's up, Devontae? Uh, one project I want to do is make a 940 Damascus blade. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be sweet. Yeah, I've seen some of the reblades for the 940s, and they are awesome. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, send that one right now. Yeah, hit the like button if you uh, if you want to support the channel there. Now, WorkSharp makes this awesome little pocket knife sharpener. It's got a diamond plate on one side, ceramic rod on the other. Pretty much all you need to throw in your pack. Now, one of the things that I had was I had a little tiny burr on my tagged out. And we got rid of it just by using the 14 degree angle one. Now, the only reason I say that is because this obviously has done the select edge on this one at 14 degrees. Still super sharp. These coming, these coming in, I think these are set at the 20. They have the angles on both sides, so you have the guided portion. But super lightweight, packable, compact, like it says. Brand new. Huge shout out to WorkSharp for sending that out. We will put that in today's giveaway as well. Oh, cabbage rolls and homemade bread, Todd? Ooh, amazing. And yeah, Todd, your package is on the way tomorrow as well. Uh, took, Shot Show threw me off, so apologize for that, but we'll get it out to you. I'll put all the special things like we talked about on there. Now, I did order some of this stuff for giveaways as well, so brand new in the box. <coughs> Still got a cough. I3T EOS, awesome little flashlight from Olight. It's got that dual pocket clip on there so you can use it in the pocket and clip it on a hat, clip it on your bag, whatever. It's perfect. Now, how do we celebrate the final Sunday live stream? What's up, Matt Harvey? Yeah, the workshop ones are great. Yeah, cabbage rolls. I'm like, oh man, pigs in a blanket. Whoa. Now I'm going to be like, it's almost, well, oh, it's a little past lunchtime here. Now, as you saw in the rules, uh, U.S. addresses only. Um, if you do have somebody that we can ship to, if you are international, <coughs> we'll make that happen. Get rid of this cough. But that'll be for after the stream. No more coughing. I'm going to tell myself that. So let's see here. How do we celebrate true Zach stuff style? Maybe, just maybe, we should give away a Benchmade. Now, I don't have any of the brand new models, nothing crazy like that, but I do have kind of a special Benchmade. A good EDC knife, brand new in the box, to give away today. So, Arnold, what's up, Arnold? We have the Benchmade Griptilian, full size, beautiful, beautiful knife, ready to customize as well. Now I still don't get why they don't do the, the black axis bars on these, but yeah, Chris, yeah, we're gonna be doing different day, different time. That will be announced shortly. So you do have the satin liners, satin axis bar, This one has a custom design for your music lover in mind on the blade. We're gonna give this one away today. All right, so that'll be today's giveaway. Brand new in the box, box and all the 
little silky smooth bag or off to the side here. So, now of course, you know, if music's not your thing, you can do whatever you want with it. But overall, show side, very crisp, very clean. You can also, you know, send in Benchmade and say, put a new blade on it and they'll charge you some, some ducats and you can pay them some cash and make a little transaction with them and you can get whatever blade you want on it, you know? Maybe you got an old sheep's foot blade laying around and you're like, let's put that bad boy on there. That would look pretty wicked too. So anyways, we're gonna give that away today. Mark Ridgewell coming in hot with the $5 dono. Thank you so much, Mark. That is very kind of you. Thank you so much. This could possibly be your first bench made. So you saw the giveaway rules. We're going to do a guessing number game. One guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. We are going to do the spread of numbers here. And it will basically be between a certain number and a certain number. One guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. U.S. addresses only. And of course... open for all that are here in the live stream chat and make sure to go back and watch those other videos like i said you never know keep the design it's the zach's last sunday edition group telling yep definitely would you sign the bench made i will do whatever in my means that is legal necessary to do that Alicord Paracord, member for four months, says, I will throw in a black lanyard with a blue titanium bead for the Benchmade to the winner of this. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Mike, I need time to make three more counts. So, the spread and the number chosen is on this piece of paper. It will be safely under the Griptilian. We see a start from our master moderator and friend, Big Red EDC. We will... Go ahead and give you the number range. And good luck to all. There's the start on the screen right there. We will do the spread of 700 to 950. 700 to 950 is your spread. One guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. We will run this until we put the stop signs up. Good luck. And maybe we'll have a second round. You never know. Throw in a temper tantrum. <laughs> She's not happy with the releases. What can I tell her? New colors will be coming. New colors will be coming. And you can still get the other production models from this year. So that's what you can tell her right now. <laughs> and hopefully we see a price adjustment on the Narrows. You know what I'm saying? Price adjustment on the Narrows. Can only hope that. I can only hope. All right. People guessing for other people. Doing something kind for someone. DSKFS. I will have to say this, you guys. It has been awesome sharing my Sundays with you all. I look forward to sharing a different day and a different time with you coming up in the next week or two. And we will put that in the community tab. So make sure you have the little bell alert down below selected. Um... But yeah, we're going to test it out. We're going to try it out. And, you know, if we even go through the whole battle with everything. And, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna try to stick it out for six months. Uh, if it doesn't work, obviously somebody can take this spot and it's open for people. You know, we're all a good community here. So we try not to step on each other. That's the biggest thing. And Scott in, like I said, does a wonderful job of trying to keep us all dialed in. You know what I mean? So we appreciate that. Yeah, the range is 700 to 950. Thank you all for posting that up again for people that missed it. One guess, one guess only. And Sundays have been awesome. I enjoy them. It just um, is something that I wanted to do a couple other things. And to do that, I really have to change up when I'm doing my live streams. And I don't want to do a secondary one to like put extra, you know, I really, I'm, I really try to be... I guess mindful of like putting out too much, especially live streams, people miss them. I want people to put them in their calendars and kind of plan on them when we're doing them. Um, and if I can change it up a little bit and do it for those days and, you know, accomplish some of those other things I want to do, 
and have a couple people on, um, I think it'll be fun. So help a competitor. <laughs> yeah, Scott N does a great job. And that's, it's just amazing. You know, he took that upon himself just to make it for everybody. Um, you can go on there. My computer, for some reason, kept giving me the little like, hey, you need to, you know, verify you're not a robot. And then I found a way around it finally. But, you know, you can just look it up and be like, you know, who's on tomorrow? And we'll talk about that in a few minutes and we'll go from there. But just amazing stuff. So <laughs> Matt's faction can't play. He can play. Plus, he joined up today. Read your last message. OK, hold on, hold on. Messages are going by. Rewrite the 189, that's my guess, so I went, <laughs> Too funny, too funny. Too funny. Yep, no, that's good, that's good. All right. Yeah, and you know, that's, and that's the other part is I, I feel bad if I, like, miss out on something and be like, Hey, I want to go do something, but I can't on my day off kind of a thing. Um, I don't want to have to move things around. So if I can move stuff around, it works out good. Amazing. Uh, Big Red, you're way too kind, my friend. And everyone who has supported the channel by being here, watching the videos, commenting. I enjoy your comments. Uh, I try to respond to a lot of them as I can. But... It's just been fantastic. So I look forward to doing more, having more fun, and doing more stuff on the channel to give back to the community. So that's always been my goal, to do it for me, to do it for the community itself. Um, you know, I don't want to, you know, I, I avoid uh, the affiliates as much as possible, except for Olight, because I get a discount myself, and I get to give a discount to you guys, so that's terrific. <laughs> that's the bonus right there. So keep watching those Olight videos as well, and... I'm gonna order more of these little these little flashlights because now that I have it, plus they give you an extra set of batteries, these little magnetic ones, you just pull them apart. And I love Tim S's idea of keeping it on the name badge. So you always have something a little light and they're pretty bright. So very cool. I'm gonna order some more of these right after the live stream. Well, thank you, Blaze. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. So Big Red, if you wanna give it another 10, 15 seconds, we'll throw up the stop signs. We'll see if we have any winners. And we'll go from there to win this awesome prize pack today. It'll be shipped out. Um, I'll get everything created and packaged up today and it'll be uh, dropped off in the morning and headed your way to the winner. Yeah, those zipper pull lights are awesome. And I had seen those and I, had, I can't remember whose channel had mentioned that they had these or maybe it was in somebody's live stream. And then I was like, Dang, I gotta check those out. So I ordered one on this last order and it came in while I was at SHOT Show. So that's pretty cool. Happy birthday, Pretty Fly, nice. Yeah, happy birthday to BC Gerbs too. Yeah, a giveaway every week for like three years plus. Yeah, it's a lot of giveaways. Yeah, definitely, yeah, you start thinking about it. I try not to think about the shipping and the giveaway stuff, but I always try to put stuff back. I mean, this stuff was, this was bought at my own. The flashlight was bought on my own. Um, so I try to just take that money that I receive from the channel and put that back into the channel. So, uh, okay. So let's go back and see what we're going to have for a winner. And I saw at least one person that got it right on, but the number spread was 700 to 950 and it was 811, 811. And I saw Johnny Quesada had hit it right on. So we got to see if there's anybody else with 811. Otherwise, Johnny Quesada is going home with the big W. The big win. A member of the, the Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Be a good win. A lot of people just over and just under. But Johnny hit it right on. So let's see if there's anyone else that hit it right on. Dun, dun, dun. So let's see here. I'm not seeing any others yet. All right. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. You're a one one oh one off. Yeah. 
Yeah, Nikki, yeah, definitely. Yeah, King Snake's so close, man. And that was the thing. I was like, man, if nobody hits it, we're like, we're going to have a round two. Urban Woodsman, what's up, man? So that's what I'm seeing. The musical blade, it was meant to be. I didn't even think about that. Johnny Quesada, the musician himself. What a win, man. Yeah, Mark, that is super close. Yeah, your daughter picked that one. You have to have her pick next week. Big Red sees Johnny Quesada as well with 811. So that's that's amazing, man. Congratulations, Johnny Quesada. It's gonna go to a, a musician. What a fitting, awesome knife and blade design to go to a musician as well. Right on. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. All right, so what to look forward to. So within the next week or so, you're going to see a post from me. I'll probably do a little video explaining it, what we're going to go to date and time. And we're going to start moving forward with the live streams on that date at that time. And we'll plan it. We'll make sure Scott gets the info so he can update everybody as well. And we'll just go from there. You know, we'll have, I'm going to try to have my first live stream with a special guest and we'll just go and make it happen. And we'll try to have some fun as always. We will always continue to do some fun giveaways and give back to the community. That's just my style. Um, I know Big Red keeps that, that mantra going as well. So I just want to give a huge, huge thank you to all of you for being here. All of your support on Sundays. I know it's really hard for a lot of you to be here on Sundays. And I know a lot of you watch this after the fact. So thank you for watching after the fact as well. It's amazing. It's fantastic to have so many people here supporting. And I look forward. It's it's a hard thing to do a change. You know what I mean? Oh, you're baking cheesecake. Nice. Urban Woodsman baking some cheesecake. I love it. Tom Weingart, member of the crew. The Benchmade Mini Griptilian. This is a fascinating, amazing knife. I have one right here. It's wonderful. Douglas Dauntless, member for two months. Thank you so much. Bubble Schnoggins. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you all for joining me on the final Sunday stream here. Yes, D2. I love it. Looking forward to the new show, new time myself. We'll have some fun. We're going to be doing some more outdoor stuff. You'll see that. You may even see some outdoor stuff on the live streams. That's another, you know, goal of the, the switch. So it'll be pretty cool. End of an era for sure. Uh, it'll open up a time slot. I'm pretty sure somebody else will be sliding in there a little bit. You know, it'll be wonderful. Ben, Big Red EDC member for 30 months. Hashtag DSKFS. <laughs> Todd Carr, thanks for the Sunday live streams. Says Todd, member for two months. Have a great day, everyone, and keep making sharp things fun and enjoyable. So awesome. We need a 24-month badge. I will do that, Mike. I will do a 24-month badge for sure. I'll work on that today. Go watch my latest Condor video. Murder some vegetables. Nice. All right, Ron. David Iverson, member for 22 months. Hashtag DSKFS and hashtag be up. Johnny Quesada, rocking the music. I love it. So awesome. All right, you all. Make sure, do something kind for someone. Hashtag DSKFS. If you do a post on Instagram or on YouTube, make sure to tag me in it. I will make sure to repost that, get it up for everybody. We'll spread the love in the community as always. But most importantly, take care of yourself. And we will see you soon on the next one. Take care.